Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Mountain Blade Warband Anno 1257. And we have just gotten married, as you have seen, and we have a little bit of money, but I think that my new bride and I, and of course I mean this figuratively because there's no way in the game that you can actually do this, but we're going to go on a tour of Europe to compete in tournaments. Well, I will compete in tournaments, and she shall accompany me figuratively, since she will, of course, stay in Chennai the whole time in the actual game. But don't ruin my good little story. So that's what I think I'm going to do, because my village has been burned to the ground. I'm severely lacking in money, and I think that is just what I need to do right now. So the first step is to go to Smyrna, find out where the tournaments are being held, and then embark to do so. And while we are in the boats, I will talk to you a little bit about my father-in-law, who is a real historical person. That is to say, Marcus's father-in-law in this game. Michael the Eighth, And I, I believe I'm pronouncing his last name wrong. Let me see if I can get it right here. Palai Logos. I like to pronounce it Paleogus for some reason, but it's Palai Palaiologos. Palaiologos? Something like that. But let's move over to Smyrna. We currently have how much money do we have? We currently have eighteen thousand, but we're losing four thousand a week due to our troops, who are very expensive, and until we get Sardis back up to speed, it's not going to work too well for us here. So, staff, really? So we have to win at least one tournament a week. So that'll be interesting. I could, now see, if I had a castle, I could put a lot of my troops, except for like, say, an honor guard of cavalry into the castle, and I'd be moving a lot faster and paying a lot less in support, but... I cannot do that, so I'm just going to have to pay the 4000 a week. The good news is, while we're traveling, they will gain experience, so I will have a much better force when we get back. And Larissa has been given to Janos Maniasis. I knew he was going to give it to me, so I really didn't care. Now, the only thing that can stop this is if the Marshal calls me for another attack. I'll decide, I guess, at the time if I'm going to go do that or not. All right, first, let's see if we can sell some of our prisoners. We cannot. What are you? Mercenary range. Traveler. Nah, nothing worth doing here. Into the arena. Hello, Tournament Master. How are you doing, buddy? Well, where will be the nearby tournaments? Smolensk? Chester, Gren Chennai? That tournament's still going on for my wedding? Venice, Genoa, and Milan. Okay, so we're going to head to Italy, but first I'm going to go to Chennai and see if I can't compete one more time in that tournament. I won't force you guys to sit through that. I'll just cut that out of the recording, and I'll come back when we start heading to Italy. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, we are back. There was indeed a tournament in Chonai, and I did win it. So I have a lot more money now. But we are going to head to the shores of Italy. We're going to go on a grand tour. And I just think it'd be neat to fight in tournaments against some of the historical people and some of the most magnificent people in the realm at this time. There's a caravan from England, strangely enough. So we're just going to see what life is like on the open seas, do a little traveling. If they do call me, as I said, for a war, I will determine whether it's worth going back or not. It looks like this one of our strategy guy just got defeated, actually. Okay. Where? Now, see, I'm not familiar with Italy in this game, so I don't know where... I can disembark. Let's see here. So Palermo is an option. 
it's nighttime, so it's hard for me to really see. Oh, training is complete. Nobody gained anything. Is that a... Okay, so we can go right in the tip. Okay, we'll do that. So we'll go here. And in the meantime, let's talk a little bit, as I said, about my father-in-law. So, Michael the Eighth, Paleologos. He, in Greek, it's Mikhail. That's why in this game they refer to him as Mikhail Paleologos. But he was born in 1223. He was the son of the Magus Domesticos of the Empire and the grandson of, or sorry, his mom was the granddaughter of the former emperor Alexius III Angelos. His ancestry, actually, is traced back to all three ruling dynasties of the Byzantine Empire prior to the fall of Constantinople by the Latins. And why am I going over there? I want to go over here. Come on. To start off his life, he was the governor of some towns in Thrace. And just so you know where Thrace is, because there's different kinds of Thrace. Ancient Thrace was actually this whole region, but in the Byzantine times, Thrace was really just the region right around Constantinople, maybe here-ish. So, he was governor of those places. But one of the most unique stories from when he was a young man is that in 1253, he was accused of plotting against the emperor. No, no. Yeah, there you go. He was accused of plotting against the emperor. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? And so it was determined that... I don't get this. It was determined that he, in order to prove his innocence, would have to go through something referred to as a trial by ordeals, where he had to hold a red-hot poker in his hand, and if it didn't burn him, he would be innocent. Now, you and I live in a more enlightened time where we know that no matter how innocent or guilty you are, holding a red-hot poker is going to burn you. There is no way around that. But at that time, people either cynically or truthfully thought that that was a way to gauge whether or not someone was guilty or not. So what Michael did, Mikhail, what he did is he simply said, fine, emperor, I will hold the red-hot poker, but only if my accuser, who at the time was, oh, was someone important in the court, but he said, if only if my accuser will pick it up out of the fire with their hands and put it into mine. So basically what he was saying is, if holding this red-hot poker proves whether I am telling you the truth or not, then if my accuser were to pick it up and hand it to me, then will it not also prove that he is telling the truth or not, right? So apparently this was accepted, and his accuser changed his tune and withdrew the accusation, and so he managed to survive that ordeal, which I thought was really clever. And unlike in previous episodes where I would either spend a whole episode not talking about anything historical, or I would spend the whole episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my little mini biography on Michael the Eighth or Mikhail the Eighth over a number of episodes. So that's this episode's little vignette, and we will talk about it again later. So we are now hopefully going to land on the toe of Italy. Okay. They, we have pirates, but they're running from me. That's fine. I don't want to fight Italian pirates. Their speed is really slow, though. I get some good armor from it. Heck, it's worth a try. That's a nice head you have on your shoulders. Well, thank you. Are you coming on to me, pirate? That's kind of weird. Oh, and this is a test, folks. I've increased the battle size to like 250 people. So let's see. Let's see how that works. Okay. So we have 91 and enemies 39, so we're not using the full thing. But let's go with... 
Infantry, I want you guys to stand closer together. Because I think the pirates are cavalry. Pretty sure. Not Actually, not 100% sure. And I want you to... I was going to say hold steady, stand ground, but it appears as if the, oh, the pirates are coming for me. Okay, so actually, actually we have this nice hill here. Let's put it to some good use. So where are the pirates? They're in this direction. Okay, so infantry, why don't you come and hold this position? on the slopes. Okay, now archers, why don't you hold this position up a little higher. Cavalry, or horse archers I guess, why don't you hold the position here and real cavalry, why don't you hold the position over there. Okay, and they're the pirates. I see them coming. Excellent. Can we back up, maybe? Can we move forward? Thank you. Alright, cavalry. We're not infantry. Damn it. Cavalry. Follow me. Yes! I need to get a better sword, a longer sword, so that I'm better fighting from horseback. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Interesting battle here. Our horse archers are just kind of standing there, but no one's attacking them, so that's good. Oh, excellent. Good job, Marcus. This guy is now running away. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Oh, the horse stopped him before I could. Oh, there's my cavalry buddies. Come on, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. Knocked unconscious, really, with a falcon? Oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. Don't mean to be in your way here. Oh, come on. Yeah, I need a longer sword. There we go. Still three pirates somewhere. Oh. There's one. Nice. I am getting better at this, somewhat. One pirate left. There he is. I think he's going to make it out. He's really far away. How did he get all the way over there? Come on, horse. You're better than this. Well, the archers are still in range. And he got away. Oh, well. Excellent. We lost... Uh, well, we got one wounded Greek heavy swordsman. Not bad. We gained some renown. And we captured a pirate. Wonderful. Let my heroes select their gear. Alright, what do we got here? A balanced spear, nice. Leather Akaton. But we are full, we need to sell some things. Okay. Well that was fun, but we need to find an Italian city. That is a big city where you can sell things. Let's see. Palermo is a big city, but otherwise we have to go all the way to Napoli. Modern day Naples. Just like that one song. In Napoli, where love is gay, when boy meets girl, here's what they say. Yeah, good times. Old Frank Sinatra-y type music. Or Dean Martin, or one of those fellows. 
All right. The Latin Empire and the Kingdom of Bulgaria might go to war. That would be lovely, unless the Bulgarians conquer Constantinople, which I will not countenance. And we're here just in time for a tournament. That is awesome. I didn't even know there was one. First, let's see if we can't... Sure, why not? Cheer up the men. That's the goal now. I'm going to have my men be with every prostitute, like Italian prostitutes, German prostitutes, French prostitutes, probably they'll, they'll be even the best. Let's go to the marketplace. <laughs> okay, arms merchant, how would you like a bunch of stuff? Not the horse, though. Actually, I want to keep the horse. These are good helmets. 57, 58... I'll keep those two. Just in case my men... I'll keep the arrows too. Just in case my men, for some reason, didn't pick them, even though they should have. One-handed axe, that would have been kind of cool. But no. Money, 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 money. Alright. Excellent. How are we doing on food? We're still doing pretty well on food. Okay. Let's see what an Italian tournament is like. 13 to 1. I'll take those odds. We have Corrado di Antiochia, Mastino della Scala, and then my guys. And William Marshall. He's, he's traveling with me, I guess. Whoa. That's something. Not used to that. Holy crap. Holy crap. Hmm, this is not starting off. Wow, you just killed my horse. All right, this is problematic. No, well, maybe the spear actually might be a good choice. Well, he's not hurting me. And as was noted in the channel, this is due to the fact that my armor is really good, but also I have it on a relatively low difficulty setting. So, hits the enemy due to me I think only do half as much damage as they normally would. Hit the horse! What are you doing? There we go. Stabbed him right in the butt. How dare you take out my horse? I guess these European tournaments are a little different than the Greek tournaments that I'm used to. A lot more space, I'll tell you that. That poor horse. I'm giving that horse a proctology exam. I'm actually not hurting the horse, am I? Oh, I did that time, 13. Come on, fall, horse. This horse is... There we go. There we go. Now it's on. Oh, jeez. He has good armor, too. You Latin dog. Actually, yeah, I guess the Italians are Latins, technically. All right. So you killed my horse, but it didn't do you any good, Corrado di Antiochia. Do I get my horse back? Yes, I do. Let's stay away from these guys in their horse-killing ways. It's a cool shield, though. I avoided the initial charge. Well, these tournaments are certainly a bit more difficult than one I'm used to. Where are you going? Anyway, I just killed your horse. Hey, easy there. Come on. I'm going to make a name for myself. They're going to be talking about Marcus Aurelius and all the courts of Europe. His amazing tournament prowess. Come on. Excellent. We took out Mastiro de la Scala, or Mastino. Now we're up against Helga. I know Helga. This will be easy. 
Oh, you're going to shoot your crossbow. Yeah, well, actually, this large battlefield does suit that. I don't want to. I don't want to kill the poor horse. Oh well, too late. Come on. Well, at least they've got better armor. I've been putting some putting some effort into that. Now Versigitas. Oh, he turned the wrong way. Let's get him from this side then. Oh, enough. You can hear the crowd cheering, but I don't know where they are. Maybe they're on the walls? Where are you, crowd? William Marshall has four wins as well. This is going to come down to the two of us. Oh, I just nailed that poor horse. Ah. <sighs> I've advanced to level 18, ladies and gentlemen. Nestor? Will I have to fight William Marshall? I don't know. Hopefully. I need a longer sword. And Nestor needs... Wow. Yep, William Marshall. Alright, famous knight. Ooh, let's get away from that lance. Don't need to get unhorsed this early in the contest. Ah, oh, you jerk. Wow, he just laid me flat there. <clears throat> Holy moly. You are not winning this tournament. I am Marcus Aurelius. Oh, come on! What are you doing? Hit him! There we go. Alright. Infantry combat is my specialty. Not against William Marshall, though. Damn it. You can't win. Oh. Lucky. So lucky. And I won the tournament. And a ton of money. Let's see what the uh, castle's like here. Let's see all these guys. Mastino de la Scala. Who are you? I am Marcus Aurelius. A vassal of the kingdom of Sicily and the lord of Napoli. Well, you were the lord of the ground when I was done with you. I've heard of you. It's very good to finally make your acquaintance. I must beg my leave. Wow, you get better relations with these guys just by talking to them. I didn't know that. I should, be, I should have been talking to all the Byzantine guys. I'll know, I know your name, and from what I hear, I'll warrant that many a grieving widow knows too. But that is no concern of mine. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like me any better. Oh, well. That's it? Really? Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time, so thank you very much for watching. We will continue to go look for tournaments all across Italy, I suppose, and maybe up into Germany and France. We'll see what goes on. So thank you once again for watching. Have a good one.